Welcome or welcome back to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, I am Eloho, your favorite unicorn on the internet. And today we're going to be talking about Destiny's Child Cater to You. So I saw this article, Black Twitter petitions to cancel Destiny's Child's song Cater to You 17 years later because it's a slave song and women are now bothered by the lyrics. Now, let me begin my commentary by saying that you have to remember that music is art. Uh, some people are going to like it. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. But when Cater to You came out in 2004, this song was a bop. So back in the early 2000s, Cater to You was obviously well received. R&B was a big part of the culture, soul, jazz, uh, what they would call baby making music or music to set the mood. You know, Cater to You fell under that category. So it was a very popular song and was actually two time Grammy nominated. Now, this song came about during a time when black men and black women had no problem, you know, showing each other love and affection publicly. You know, that was the time. <laughs> so I obviously in today's time black men and black women have no problem publicly tearing each other down the gender wars are real okay the kevin samuel stands are out here okay the massage honor we can't get rid of it if we if we, <laughs> chow <laughs> we couldn't get rid of it if we paid to get rid of it okay but what appeared to be a conversation on Twitter between some black women now has turned into this really big alleged cancel situation alleged oh black women are saying this is slavery and i'm gonna just throw in my conspiracy theory real quick i feel like sometimes the blogs and you know just white like media sometimes they 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 make things bigger than what it actually is um i don't think anyone was actually out here saying let's cancel cater to you i think it was just a conversation between some women who didn't like the song and again it's art you don't have to like my art. You know what I mean? They didn't like the song. They couldn't relate to the song. And now it's a whole big thing. And I feel like men are now making think pieces like, oh, this is why black women are not getting married. This is why no one wants a black woman. And as I'm looking through the comments, it's black women saying, hey, I like the song. Or if I get a man worth catering to, I will absolutely cater to him. Or I cater to my man. I have no problem with this song. So I'm, I'm trying to like... Y'all are using the minority to pick on the majority, and I don't like that. I don't like it. Jada's Luxury Beauty Supply Store provides a variety of popular hair care products, hair accessories, hair coloring, skin care, and Black-owned beauty products. Located at 488 Hempstead Turnpike, Elmont, New York, Jada's Luxury Beauty Supply Store provides products for natural and relaxed hair. I know many of us are so used to shopping at non-black beauty supply stores, but I really recommend giving Jada's Luxury Beauty Supply Store a chance. It's nothing like having a black woman who understands black hair and black women's needs supplying the products that we use on an everyday basis. And the reviews speak for themselves, honey, okay? Jada provides top-notch customer service inside and outside of her store. So if you're not in the New York area, don't worry. You can head over to jadasluxurybeautysupply.com and follow them on Instagram at jadasluxurybeautysupply. If you have any questions, her DMs are open. The Coco Curling Custard Cream is on sale for Juneteenth, so use the coupon code JUNE during checkout. Now let me put y'all onto some products that I just can't live without. Now my shower isn't a shower without Nutty Cosmetics. Nutty Cosmetics is a plant-based, 100% organic skincare line for all skin types. Nutty Cosmetics is dedicated to providing natural products such as African black soap and turmeric soap, which has a number of beneficial healing ingredients for healthy skin. The black soap and sponge work together to exfoliate the skin, clean the skin, and help with any hyperpigmentation or discoloration. The facial washes are bomb.com and the turmeric scrub I use twice a week to exfoliate dull textured skin, leaving me with smooth and even glowy skin, honey. Y'all see the melanin popping, y'all see that. After your shower, you wanna finish up with one of the body butters and there's so many feminine scents to choose from. During the day, I'll use the Acne Away Facial Oil, or at night, I'll use the Dark Spot Corrector. Head over to NuttyCosmetics.com for some bomb products, and use my discount code ELOHO at checkout. Now, there are a couple of lines that I can definitely do without, don't get me wrong, but overall, I think it's a beautiful song. And I want to note that she's 
she's writing a letter, like she's singing a letter. In the last line of the second verse, she says, sit back and let me pour out my love letter. So think about yourself writing a love letter to your man. If you are a cis het woman, think about you writing a love letter to a man. Um, and, and in the beginning, she says, baby, I see you working hard. So this is not just any man. This ain't no, this ain't no troll on Twitter. Okay. This is the love of your life who has come in home from a hard day of work. And just for one day, you want to cater to him. That is what this song is about. It's not about catering to no dusties, to somebody that done had side babies, cheated on you, slap you up, abusive, still live with his mama, don't got no job, relying on, uh, we not, I beg, we we ain't talking about those. We don't cater to those. We ignore those. We block those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, to the men saying, you know, this is why, you know, black women are not married and y'all don't get chose and y'all going to die alone. But I want y'all to pay attention to the last two lines of the first verse. She says, if I want it, got it. When I ask you, you provide it. And I really, I think that this song, people think that the focal is that, oh, you're doing all of this stuff for a man. But it's not just any man. It's a man who provides. Right? It's a man who provides. A provider. A protector. Not someone saying, oh, you don't need no makeup. You don't need the way you don't need to get your hair done. I like your natural hair anyways. Oh, you don't need that. You don't need another bag. You got a hundred bags. Oh, oh, I ain't got it. You, you, should, have, you should be able to afford your... We... Mm. This is not a man that makes excuses. <laughs> this is not a man that makes excuses. This is not a man who sits on the internet all day and tells women that they're a five. This is a man who goes to work, ladies. So not only is he providing for you, but then the next line says, you inspire me to be better and you challenge me for the better. So he's making you better while also providing a home, the bills, vacations, savings, luxury. He's providing and inspiring you for the better. So think about that type of man. Don't think about the Kevin Samuel niggas. <laughs> don't think about the don't don't even think about them. That's not who we catering to. Sorry. Absolutely not. You think you're going to come in here and call somebody a five and be catered to? Absolutely not. (laughs) With your five inch, you know what? Let me keep moving. So there are some people who are saying this is a slave song. And I'm not going to argue with with feminists on on Twitter. I'm just not going to do it. I I, I, I can't relate. Like, I really can't relate. You know, I'm not. I don't want to be strong you know, strong and independent all my life. I don't. So I can't relate to women who want to be that, you know? And if you want to be that, and if you feel like, you know, actually catering to someone who has proven to be a provider, um, an inspiration, um, and, you know, a, a, a pillar in your life, if you can't cater to that person, then, well, go on ahead and let somebody else have them. Let somebody else have them because some women do want to get married, you know, and we're not just going to marry anyone. We're not just going to cater to anyone. But if the man has these great qualities, why wouldn't I, as a woman, say that's somebody worth running a bath for? That's somebody worth cooking a nice meal for? That's somebody worth, yes, taking off his shoes, you know, massaging his feet. I mean, you would go to the masseuse anyway. But but then that's, a, that's another conversation, right? What's catering to me might not be what's catering to you. What's catering to you might not be what's catering to me. That's why there's something called a love language. We don't all speak the same love language. You and your partner are compatible in that way. And and that's something called intimacy. Everything in for the internet, it's called intimacy. This generation is kind of losing that, but there's something called intimacy. Romance, right? Love language between, a, a, you know, a man and a woman in this case, Um and unfortunately, we don't see examples of that. It's not in the music. It's not in the videos. It's not on Instagram. We don't see that. And I want to say, as a woman who is not a part of that relationship, it is not your place 
to tell another woman how to cater to her man or that she's catering to or that her catering to her man is her being a pick me to her man. That is not your place. And to be honest, I would not befriend anyone <laughs> who who tells me that me catering to my man is me being a pick me or, you know, looks down on her nose at me catering to my man. I don't want that energy anywhere around me. I would not I cannot Because the truth of the matter is sometimes friends or loved ones can be a little jealous. And if you know that you are being taken care of in your relationship, it is a loving and safe relationship, then girl, you go ahead. (laughs) The sky is the limit. Okay, for a man that is catering to you and doing anything, the sky is the limit, boo. The more you do, the more I do, period. (laughs) But let me just get over into this tweet real quick. Because y'all not going to reach on Beyonce's internet, not today. So someone said the fact that it's mostly black women saying they don't agree, but want that future man to take care of them and spoil you. You wouldn't want to spoil him back when he's being everything a man should be to you. And someone replied and said, white and exotic women get spoiled and they don't do any of that. Why are the black women expected to do all that stuff? And I would have to respectfully disagree. Um, I do have friends of all different backgrounds, honestly, and we all have these real raw conversations. Um, And honestly, a lot of them go through the same shit we go through. You have to remember the preferences get it worse. Okay. (laughs) So they're actually doing all the running around. They're doing, they're breaking their backs or this and that because the, the next preference is the next competition. So they're doing all of these things catering even if he's undeserving they're doing all of these things that's why the men actually compare us to them and say well white women treat us better or this one treats us better yeah i guess because she's willing to put up with shit that i'm not she's willing to endure for the sake of saying i have a husband or i have a man or look i was chosen you know i'm not willing to compromise that i'm only going to cater to a high value man who caters to me who provides for me who protects me mentally physically financially spiritually yes And I will go above and beyond to cater to that man and let him know that he is appreciated, he is loved, and anything that he wants, (laughs) baby, baby. (laughs) Y'all let me know what you thought of this conversation down in the comment section. Did you see a lot of people canceling cater to you or was this just a plot to cause division? I think it was, I think it was a little plot, you know, stir the pot a little bit, but, um, you know, black men fell for the bait. (laughs) Any moment to just, (laughs) you know. (laughs) But let me know your thoughts. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at IamEloho. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye.